Hey everybody, we're going to do a little review of uh, radical functions in this video here. Um, okay, well, first of all, let's, let's do this. What, what does a radical, fun radif radical function look like? Uh, this is a radical sign, so whatever we have, if we have like y equals something or other, that's going to be our radical function. Now, uh, for this example, I'm just going to use simple y equals x. Uh, sorry, y equals square root of x. And see what happens here. What, what's this going to look like? Uh, my first and best trick that we always want to use is a table of values, because we can get anywhere with a table of values. Uh, that's our x and our y. Okay. Now, since y equals root x is the example we're going to use, I, I'm going to make this easy and always use a, like a, a square number under there just to make it easy, right? So I'm going to pick values of x, because that'll, that'll make it easy for me, because I like that. So how about 4, 9, 16, 25. Okay, so here, y equals root 0, well that's 0, y equals root 1, that's 1, y equals root 4, that's 2, y equals root 9, that's 3, y equals root 16, that is 4, and of course that would be 5. Okay, so just like that, by inserting our just random values in the x, random, Planned, we get our pairings, right? So these are coordinates on our graph. Let's check this out. Okay, so we have a coordinate of 0, 0, 1, 1. Well, here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's 0, 0, 1, 1. I'll estimate, okay? Estimating saves some time. I'm just trying to draw a loose picture here. Uh, 1, 1. So that's there. 4, 2. So an x value of 4 and a y value of 2. So let's try right about there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll do that. We'll do, we'll graph it like that. Um, x value of 9 and a y value of 3. So 3 of 9 is probably around here. Uh, 16 and 4 would probably be around here. And this is even off the chart. I mean, it's way over there. But what we have here is something that looks kind of like Kind of like this. And this is what a radical function is going to look like. This is our y equals x, and we plot this out just by, maybe over there, right? Just by uh, using a table of values, which, I mean, that's grade 8 stuff, so piece of cake. So there was some variations that I wanted to describe here. Suppose we had um, y equals uh, negative root x. Well, that means for whatever numbers we put into x, uh, okay, so uh, let's call this y1, and let's call this y2. So here's our y1 values. Our y2 values, well, we're just going to take the, the negation of it. So whatever this equaled before, we're going to negate it. So we have 0, 0, that 1 becomes negative 1, 2 becomes negative 2, 3 becomes negative 3 and so on. I'll, I'll show you what I mean, for example. Let's take this last one. y2 equals root, sorry, negative root x. If we choose 25 for x, then it becomes negative, well, this here is 5, so then our, we get our y2 is 5, uh, negative 5 here, okay? So for our second y function. And what that looks like on a graph, so all we did was stick a negative sign in front of the radical. Now if we plot our, our x's with our y2 column, we'll get, uh, okay, so we have 0 and 0, right? 1 and negative 1, so 1 and negative 1. Uh, 4 and negative 2, well, this is kind of looking similar. Uh, 9 and neg negative 3 for y, so there's negative 3. Nine. Okay. What you'll see is that. So here we had root, or sorry, y equal root x, and this is y equals negative root x. Okay. How I want you to remember this, tied to the other things we've done, is that uh, well, positive, positive slope. So this is very basic. Negative slope. There's your negative, just like that. Um, yeah. That's uh. 
That's about all I want to show on that one for at this stage in the game. We'll get into some more detailed examples later.